Hi everyone, my name is Pei Chi. I'm a fish breeder based in Oakland. I uh, sell my fish both on Facebook and on Trendy under the name Fantastic Biscuits. Came from the fish room, uh, has kindly sent me a couple of sample of these Ocean Nutrition Biscuits food uh, for a review. Uh, so here it is. Now, full disclosure, I do make and sell my own version of the discus food, and obviously this is a review sponsored by the fish room. So firstly, I thought this, these little packages traveled quite well in the post. It arrived overnight from Nelson, and uh, on arrival it was cold to the touch, a little bit soft, but pretty kind of standard as far as frozen food shippings are concerned. Uh, inside these boxes, there's a 20 little blister pack. Each blister pack weighs about 5 grams and uh, after defrosting, it's roughly about 60% uh, liquid that I could squeeze out and 40% solid. In those solids, um, I can see a whole bloodworms, whole brown shrimps, a little bit of chopped up white fish meat, maybe mollusk and crustacean like what it says on the package and dotted around, uh, I dotted amongst them as little pieces of green vegetation. So, uh, discus being a uh, carnivorous type of fish, this fits in within their diet, mostly meat, mostly protein, and very little uh, vegetable matter with no fillers. So when I feed these um, items to my discus uh, on the first try, it was um, kind of an expected result. Most of them ignored it. Um, because they don't recognize it as food and inside the uh, bare bottom tanks that I have uh, a lot of these blocks just end up going straight down the sump as they defrost next to the overflow and so on the second and third try what I did is I defrosted it first then added it into the tank and as time goes on more and more of my discus are starting to recognize that this is actually fish food not just some random bits and pieces floating around in the tank and so they start to go after it and I noticed that most of them start to pick out the blood worms, picking out the whole brine shrimp. The smaller fish particles, the mollusk bits, seem to be a bit too small for them, even for the uh, five centimeter uh, juvenile discus. And they just pretty much lost in the water column. Um, based on that, um, I think this food is probably most suited uh, to a discus community tank where you have multiple other smaller species of fish such as uh, corridoras, uh, um, rams or tetras or um, even clown loaches they will all love these meaty treats and they will gobble it right up leaving you with very minimal wastage and uh, water quality issues. As far as whether or not this is a good uh, food for long-term um, feeding or as a stable diet for discus. Uh, personally, I think uh, it's probably better off as a treat. Um, the reason being the discus are only going for the whole bloodworms and the whole brine shrimp. And uh, if, you do, so you, if you've done some research on the internet, you would know that there are some uh, informations out there questioning whether it's suitable um, but one being a suitable food for discus. Majority of people won't have any issues, but there are a portion of the people who keep discus, feed them bloodworm, and uh, ended up with some sort of, um, uh, their discus end up with some sort of digestive issue. And so from that point of view, I would recommend that this, to use this as a um, occasional treat, maybe once or twice a week, um, probably not so much as a everyday diet for your discus. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching and thank you Ken for allowing me the chance to do a review on one of your products. Um, I hope this review is uh, useful to you guys. Thank you and bye.